because you're going to be taking shots at cocks left and right like a pro. Now, here's a guy, one shot to the cock, mild testicle damage, two shots, destroyed cock in seconds. Now watch this. You're going to add in some garlic, okay? Here we go. I'm going to put some garlic in. All right. <laughs> and you keep going. You completely blow apart that cock. I mean, it's gone. And you got a piece of garlic mashed to a dick. Now, you love tapping guys in the nuts, but you don't like touching balls with your hand. You know you don't like guy berries anywhere near your fingers. That's why you wear gloves in the public restroom. One shot. Cock salad. Now, look, I love a good ball punch as much as the next guy, but once in a while, you really got to send a message to make sure they don't forget. This is going to change the way you punch dicks. Big dicks, little dicks, crooked dicks. Five seconds. Four or five seconds, the guy's on the ground. You really hurt his branch. Oh. Now see, this nut shot is boring. Stop having a boring nut shot. Stop having a boring life. Cock shot these two guys here. <gasps> Voila, it's a miracle. Congratulations. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> now, here's a hard boiled egg. It's kind of like a testicle. Look at that. Unrecognizable. Now, add a cornish on for the dick. And here we go. Don't have time to screw up your balls? Now you do. So here's the deal, kids. You buy the cock shot, you're going to get the crundleman for gravy. Brown gravy, white gravy, inside the modifier, ignite the salt, and watch this. Hot dog, bauxite, Dave Matthews band, sex with a horse. It's so easy. If I can cock shot someone with one finger, you can do it with your whole hand. I mean, blast somebody's dick out the back of their jeans. Kids can do it. I'm talking serious dick damage. Guys, we're going to make America's meat bananas hurt one cock shot at a time. I just slap a cock, wash it, and put it away. It's a very quick dick punch. It's a real time saver. It's so easy. It's just like... Bam, 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 bam. My boyfriend gets so winded. The cock shot sells for $4.95. <laughs> but if you call on March 21st, 2018, you're going to get the Crundleman 3 plus 9 Jesus cards. Here's how to order. To order your cock shot <laughs> plus right. 3 Crundleman and Jesus this cards. This is Just it. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to the tragedy. Dressed up as a show Hi, broadcast at 11 frames per second from my spare bedroom. And it's uh, apparently featuring shadows today. today to show how conflicted I am. I'm Brian Brushwood. It's the BB Live Show, starring yours truly. Uh, nothing more than a toddler beaten on a drum. If you want to join us here in a bit and get a hold of the program, you can always catch it, the latest episode at bbliveshow.com. You can write in with your comments. Tell me how terrible I am at brian at schwood.com. And uh, Ben O'Hare again. Yep, yep. For those of you keeping track, that's three days in a row that I'm looking like a, uh, I would say I moved beyond Ben O'Hare and moved on to gangster hair. I don't know. Also joining us, our first panelist. Now you'll notice uh, it's Mr. Jason Murphy. How you doing, Jason? I'm doing all right. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's good to have you back here, sir. It's been a while. Let me get your. Uh, I'm gonna. Your I'm gonna try to remain a little bit less intoxicated than I was last. Less time. intoxicated. The hell like, like half a bottle of scotch last time. <laughs> Were you a little bit? Tight? I do remember you had the. Uh, you 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 had the. The pipe. the pipe, the pipe, the pipe. That was pretty good. Do your Sherlock Holmes gig. I thought that worked I out pretty go good. Get. Holy cow! If you want. Uh, all right. Good news, bad news. Which one do you want first, sir? Jason Murphy. Uh, bad news. The bad news is nope. Yeah, you have to get. You have to ask for the good news first. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. What's the What's the bad news? The good. Or the good news. <laughs> all right, let's try this Give again. Me, I, I I've got good news, news and I've got bad news. Which would you like to hear first, Jason Murphy? Good news. Okay, the good news is I'm using a brand new test version of Vid Blaster that was emailed to me by the writer of the program, Mike uh, Versti. He says, uh, he says, please, 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 for the love of God, use this version before you do another show, which I was very excited Hello, about. Mr. However, how, however, <laughs> uh, so this may be, who knows? Maybe he's like the problem. Maybe this will be our first spaz-free show. But the bad news is. I do know for sure it'll be our first show completely without uh, split screens because when I try to click on the split screens, we get this action. Or yeah, this that's action. a shame. That's yeah. a shame. We could do kind of a cool video effect here. It's oh, that's really not cool. I'll just do that with the music. <laughs> that that makes fine. me think of those inspirational videos that used to take you to the auditorium to watch when you're in junior high, oh, and it would play like. Uh, Depeche Mode or something. Be like, if I cry you for yesterday, do it. there's an ordinary do world. No, I don't know the words, I, but yeah. <laughs> kind of works with this but music. But yeah, that, that's it right there. It's a like montage that. and then someone talking about how we should have premarital sex or something. I no, that's know. true. <laughs> that is true. That's all right, though. I'm going to be fast on the trigger. And luckily, this episode kind of won't really matter on the uh, the split screen thing. There's 
this will be a short episode, partly because I kind of have to go watch <clears throat> Lost. Uh, but uh, but I got something <laughs> special I wanted to share with you guys. A couple of things, actually. Let's go ahead and kill this music. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we're working on a new website. Did I tell you about this? Mr. Jason Murphy, the new website. Do you know anything about oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you told me about that. Uh, did, did I show yeah. you? The, the thing in development. No. Who's hooking you up with that? Uh, oh, no, no. Those are my good friends, my sponsors over at Squarespace. They are total freaking badasses right. who uh, I'm right, very, very right, fond right. of. And, uh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, and in fact, let me do this. I'll actually show. Let me go ahead and change the video capture here, and I should put it on me. This is tough because I'm used to just leaving it on the split screens for all this stuff. Uh, so that yeah. at least somebody's doing something interesting. But uh, this is in development. It is not uh, – none of the final graphics are there. But what's cool is check this out. So it's like you got um, – finally everything's laid out with simple setups. And then uh, and then when you go to the main site, you're like, oh, what's this? And it starts playing. And then – ba-doom. That is This week, a phenomenal slick. live performance from South by Southwest Interactive. Who's there? Isn't that cool? And uh, and in fact, I'm gonna edit together some specific videos to that highlight specific things that we're selling. And then and then the idea is down here for the live show. So you click up here and you watch a bit of Scam School if you've never heard of Scam School, because that's the thing. Most of the people coming to the website have never uh, have have never heard of me. They're all like, oh, I'm supposed to check this guy out. So this way they could see some Scam oh, is School. Oh, that Scam School. That's that little uh, magic bar thing you do. Yeah, that little thing. <laughs> here, did you see this? Look at this. Hold on. Oh wait, 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 wait. Here, look at this. This is what I'm hoping. What I'm hoping is that people will uh, will be like, who's this Brian Brushwood fellow? And they'll click on it. And all I, I just want them to see, here we go. I just want them to see the beginning here as I walk out. Southwest, how you guys doing? And it's that monstrous freaking crowd, right? Anyway, that's what that's the hope with it. Again, my mind has been blown. Is that like... That night. Oh, you were there for that so night, many weren't of my you? Synapses. Yeah, that's right, dude. That was awesome. That was an awesome uh, night, and it was great. What was great was the what was the the one moment that was totally breaking your mind because you've known me forever. Uh, I'm and, gonna get uh, a nosebleed just talking about it. Yeah. What, what did you? And, yeah. Tell everyone. Tell the nice people. Okay. So, um, it was a big deal. It was a totally rad show, right? It was totally rad show night. Um, yeah. And it was at Stubbs, which is a big amphitheater, uh, outdoor uh, theater thing here in Austin. Big right. deal. Right. And uh, they do the Totally Rad show. No, uh, uh, Dignation Live. You were Ryan obviously too drunk out. to remember what show was being done, but that's cool. Oh, no, wait. You came out to the was Totally it, Rad well, show. Oh, it was, no, it was Dignation. Totally yeah. Rad show was the next night. Yeah. You went to that okay. one, too, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went, I went to both. So Yeah. Um, this one was the two dudes sitting on the couch. Yep. Anyway, that's, Dignation, uh, yeah. Right? Totally different. Um, but, yeah, Brian opens the show. And uh, it was massive. I mean, the, the place was packed. But was but it's like, like, it's like you've seen you've seen me do shows before, so you're aware that, that I'm not terrible. But I don't think you were prepared for ever uh, the the awesome heroes welcome that the show got that night. No, it was freakish, and uh, I thought that uh, I had stepped into Bizarro World. <laughs> Bizarro um, World. Brian is famous. I cannot handle this. <laughs> and then to see you up on the balcony. Throwing T-shirts and books to to fans, I kept expecting Ashton Kutcher to jump out and say, "Hey, Saying, Jason, ha, you just got punked." That's right, Brian's not really anyone important. But uh, no, that was a lot of fun. But what's funny is, uh, working on out of coincidence, working on the new website, get that all laid out. Uh, I get a note from from Travis saying, "Hey, dude, uh, ready for a blast from the past?" And uh, and he sends over uh, this gem. <laughs> <laughs> this is my awesome, supremely badass website from 2001. And uh, oh, look, there's even an animated GIF at the bottom. Look, I made a, I made a banner. Hold on, let me actually zoom in and let's see what I was up to. Uh, going into, uh, going into. There we go. Oh, finally, some much-needed cleaning house has been done. We've taken updates and we've moved them, old updates from 1999, and moved them to their <laughs> home page. Holy cow, <laughs> dude, that's awesome! All right, so uh, so let's do this. Let's talk about. That, uh, uh, I remember that site. Yeah, that was. Was that, that a GeoCity site? Uh, no, <laughs> screw you, sir. Uh, no, actually, I modeled <laughs> it. I modeled it on all of the popular uh, gaming sites. 
because I took uh, I I knew like the there like uh, uh before it was called Shack News it was Scary Sugar Shack and um that's uh, right uh Voodoo uh, Voodoo Extreme and those kinds of stuff and they always looked like they were the center of the world and it looked looked like stuff was going on all over the place and so even though like early in my career I really had nothing going on but I needed it to look like I had something going on so Busy. I so I emulated yeah. the whole thing and I put lots of entries being like Brian just updated his stuff again it's amazing but uh, yeah. All right, so uh, are we going to show this thing? I, I suppose we should tell the backstory behind it. Yeah, this this definitely needs a setup. Well, and, and, and an apology in advance, maybe. Uh, uh, partial uh, apology. I, skills have come a long way since then. I have not <laughs> watched it in in three years, probably. I don't know about you. Yeah. When's the last time you watched it? <laughs> you and me both. Okay, last time we watched it was when we worked it worked it together. Um, so uh, uh, what was it? Uh, and, and the funny thing about this was, like, literally, I um I only had one weekend. I was out on the road, and you're like, hey, I wrote this uh, short film. We're going to go and shoot as a short independent thing. Who knows? It would be just kind of fun. I just want to see it made into something. And for those of you who don't know, Jason Murphy has uh, has written a lot of brilliant little vignettes and short stories. He's got a couple of feature-length scripts that are being looked at. Uh, a very, very talented guy. I didn't I hadn't read it. I didn't know what it was. I didn't even know what the story was. But I was like, yeah, yeah of course I'll do it. <laughs> And uh, and and it gets, uh, we get there and it's time to do it. And he hands me the script and I'm like, well, you know, where are my lines? And so he highlights it and he, and he kind of vaguely ex- explains the story. It's it's supposed to be a horror thing, like a psychological scary thing about people who stay up, stay awake too long and their brains melt or something. And so I'm like, oh, that's cool. What's the um, what's the uh, uh, what's the character I'm doing? And I'm thinking there's there's categories of what I can handle. I can handle, you know, smarmy, full of bravado, maybe egotistical, somebody who's all about the attention being on him, you, know, you know, larger, louder, larger than life. And uh, and Jason's like, uh, oh no no no, you're gonna play Walter. He's he's scared and uh, and and the first to die. Uh, and <laughs> it was a stretch for you, and yet you nailed it. Oh, I don't know about that. I think well, there'll be plenty of laughter and or mockery at, uh, at at my acting skills. But that was the tough thing, is because you know this is a you know. By the way, you think you think this this pedo hair is bad. Uh, this is nothing compared. That's there's a couple things I got to prepare you for. Is, uh, is that your George McFly haircut? Is, <laughs> hey, you take your damn <laughs> hands off her. It's your density. <laughs> it's your density. All right. So, uh, so uh, at any rate, a couple of things to know. First of all, first of all, you're going to see pedo hair, and I believe you're going to see me wearing boots and shorts. Which uh, I went really? through. Really? Uh, oh yeah. No, I'm wearing boots. I'm wearing my moon boots and shorts because um, because those were the only decent shoes I had. Is either that or or, or some ratty old. Uh, 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 tennis shoes, I think it was pretty bad. I don't remember that. Mm. You'll see it and you'll remember it then. Uh, and uh, the other thing I want you guys to remember is that the entire show, the entire show was made for less than a hundred dollars. Is is that right? Yeah, it was like eighty five or something like that. And and you, the first night, were calling me Ed Wood repeatedly, which oh. I'm very proud of, actually. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> I apologize. You're like, come on, we just gotta shoot it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. And, uh, I'm glad you didn't take it too seriously because then you might have expected something. <laughs> no, no. Well, and that's just it. Is I totally expected nothing because I went in, I said my lines, and then like, and I'm like, okay, you're supposed to be scared and a wimp, and I'm like, all right, that's not really me, but I did my best. And then, um, uh, what was it like? Four months later, I hear that uh, that you've been developing and working on everything, and uh, and finally you're like, oh yeah, I got something to show you. And I look and I'm like, dude, for what it is, for being made on 87 bucks in in your house with uh with you know setting cameras on dollies and that oh and that's the other thing i gotta warn people about is that the this is not film quality we're saying indie film because that's uh i don't know something that has uh is it is it cash it cache what what, what what what's what's the word you say for that do you know what that word is i'm looking for is it cash it uh, chat room do you guys know what word i'm talking about is it cash uh, I think you're saying cliche. cliche. Thank you. Yeah. No, it's not cliche. It's it's not catch all either. Thank you very much. This is uh yeah. right now you're looking at the least the world's least helpful uh, <laughs> cachet. It is cachet. Okay. For I those thought of you so. that missed the eighty bucks part. So it is. Yeah. No. 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 It is. <laughs> well, it is. Let's reiterate. It that. is called cachet. Okay. So uh, at any rate, we're saying indie film, but this is this is indie video uh, on standard definition DV done uh, back when the tools were not readily available as well. This is back when it was super expensive. We had to get a hold of some some 
We did have an expensive camera. Yeah, yeah. We did borrow an expensive camera. I mean, I wouldn't say yeah. we, we had it, but yeah. He had right, available right. to us. And we should also talk about the other guy, the guy who, who actually did all the, the, the grunt work and made everything awesome, Craig Lunsford, yeah. right? Who's, who's since... The grunt work, the editing... Who's since yeah, gone on to an Craig, illustrious Craig career. Craig he's actually got some pilots out there working and stuff. Yeah, he's uh, he's uh, working on a, uh, a couple of things. I don't know if I'm at liberty to talk about it, but it's uh, for a couple of uh, music, well-known music uh, channels. So <laughs> we'll leave it at that. It involves a well-known musician who's... Name remi- rhymes with barf. And uh, sir, it is Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs, actually. Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. I love it. I love it. Uh, yep. All right. So uh, uh, Craig is the one who really did all the heavy lifting and made everything work. He appears in the movie as well. Yeah. It's just the three of us. Um, what what else should we say? Oh, oh, the best part. Here's the best part. We did it. It was fun. It was a blast. I was like, oh, that was cool. Let's see what, uh, uh, you know, I'm glad I did that, right? And you made it, and you, you set it out to, uh, like, a handful of, of in, indie film festivals, right? Yeah, we did a couple of festivals. We ended up uh, screening uh, with uh, uh, a film that James Elroy, the guy that had written uh, L.A. Confidential, um, we won uh, the Screen Scream greats at, like, some L.A. film fest or something. But it got the attention of some Hollywood types, like uh, DreamWorks and stuff like that, just just on the basis of the idea. Yeah, well, and, and, and uh, literally, like, filmed. you had people asking you for for a feature-length script based on this idea, right? And I wrote it in a weekend. And I'm still talking to people about it. Yeah, like, uh, well, probably shouldn't say that either. But, uh, no, that's yeah. – uh, look, look here, here's the thing. Uh, uh, 99% of the time you talk to people and that's as far as it's going to go. So you might as well get all the mileage you can out of saying that you're talking to people because that's very likely – There's a lot of talk. The, the, the completeness <laughs> of, talk, of as, your as experience, you well know, sure. right? Okay, so I'm going to show it to you. And by the way, uh, for those of you complaining about the ball cap, it's all part – first of all, uh, my hair – there's like twice a year that my hair – it's long enough in between shows that I can let my hair get too long to spike. And that's where it is right now. And so I'm kind of enjoying that. So allow me this one brief moment of feeling like a grown-up, even though well, ironically I look more like a child when I have grown-up hair than when, it, than when it's down. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, – oh. Here's the here's the big question though. What I remember about this is that there's a bit of of a hump to get over over how low the quality of the production value is. Now the whole thing's only what like 12 minutes long. Is that how long it is? Oh no, it's more like 20. Oh okay, and, uh, almost there 20 are minutes. Some pacing issues. It should be 12 minutes long. No no no, <laughs> it's it's, it's not bad. It's not bad at 20. So so here's the thing. I'm going to what I used to do is I used to to offer a prescription. I used to say, look, you're going to watch this movie. If, if you really get over it, if you really pretend that this is one of your buddies making it and you put yourself in there, it's actually really good and there's a couple of really good scares in there. And I don't know if you like scary movies or not. There's some neat ideas. Uh, so here's what I'm going to ask you. But the problem is is that's our, our format – our, our format of the entire uh, thing is to, is to mock everything, right, which, which is not going to work with, with a horror show. So here's my, my proposal. You have in your Ustream – you're going to choose your own experience here. This is kind of an experimental theater opportunity you have. You can either watch the show in a window where it will look very silly and very goofy, and you can join in the chat room and talk smack about everything, right? And that will be a fun experience for you. You will get to laugh at this product, and there's there's plenty to laugh at. There's me wearing shorts and boots, goofy hair, me trying to act. There's tons of stuff for which I deserve to be mocked, right? Or... You can uh, you can actually watch it full screen. There's a full screen button. You can click on the full screen button and and turn up the volume. And and I tell you what, I think I'm not gonna talk. And I think and I think uh, uh, Jason's not gonna talk the entire time, so that you can have that experience if you want. I'll be wincing mostly. Yeah, well that's all right. Mostly I'll try cringing. not to cut over. I'll try not to cut over to you to your wincing. But does does that sound like a good kind of middle ground? That way we make everybody happy. If you want to mock, I think so. Yeah. Uh, and, and please, p- this, this pillory our uh, our uh, I- inaugural uh, uh, film uh, experiment here. Go ahead and mm. throw your rotten tomatoes at it if you choose to. Well, uh, no, no, no. I mean, certainly. So in the, uh, talk back yeah, yeah, and, and and understand we're going to play this. We don't think we're important. You know, we're kind of chuckling on the inside ourselves. But I seem to remember that a lot of people watched it and really got focused. They turned off the lights. Like seriously, actually, turn off the lights in the room. Uh, it, we're not going to do a gotcha. This is not a screamer type thing. Uh, it's it's really good suspense done for 80 bucks by three jackasses who have no idea what they're doing. Does that make sense? Capital, capital J. 
Capital J Jackasses. Uh, with that said, I guess we'll go ahead. Uh, by the way, let me let me. I tell you, what, let's check in with the chat room. How many of you guys plan to watch it full screen? How how many guys plan to stick in the chat room? Oh, of course, what's funny is I told everybody to go chat room, and so now uh, and so now they're gonna have to go out of uh, or go full screen, so they'll get out of full screen. A lot of chat rooms, a few full screens. The full screens, I I think honestly are going to get the uh, the full experience. Yeah, and and Lonely Dot Geek actually has seen it several times before, so he has it. And of course, Hobo Badge. All right, so I think most people are going to mock it on, in the chat room. Uh, but I will say that uh, that it's a cool experience if you do watch it full screen. And with that said, let's watch uh, Lucidity. And let me get you to turn down your volume just a little bit there, Jason. Okay. All right, here we go. By the way, I, I only had the version that I had, so there's this giant logo in there. Oh, it's fine. Uh, 24 hours into our little experiment. Not a bet now. A bet. Uh, a bet. A bet. 24 hours into our bet. Uh, 24 hours with no sleep. I am dying here. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'm gonna beat you guys, but I am dying. Sure. I, right now, I'm so hopped up on caffeine. I feel like my feelings are gonna shake out of my teeth. <laughs> I'm going strong. I think it's pretty yeah. obvious who the uh, victor is gonna be here, and uh, who's gonna be the the first to fall. Walter. Walter. Hey, I'm just luring you guys into a false sense of security. That's all yeah, that's yeah. going on. Yeah. Oh, the fall, that's the great strategy. Yeah, going going without like your room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. Uh, who can go without sleep the longest? And to the winner, $500. So uh, you may be asking yourself, uh, what's Joe going to do with the money? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'll tell you, uh, I'm going to pay for my student loans. So there you have it. Very noble. Student loans. Uh, Walter, uh, in the infinitesimal chance uh, that you win, beer and cigarettes. <laughs> beer, and cigarettes. <laughs> beer and cigarettes. Natural All American. American. Yeah, okay, great. well, if I win, the money's going to go to a sick amount. DVDs, baby. Very DVDs. respectable. Yeah. Well, so there you have it. 24 hours and counting. surreal point. Uh, it feels like I'm floating. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I'm, except I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making any sense. I'm just battling. Infomercials. That's it. That's all that's on. That's why they do it late at night. So they get all those insomniacs that don't understand that they don't need the latest gadget in lint-removing technology. I'm just too tired to disagree. <laughs> I keep dropping things. I I don't know how many dishes I've broken. Uh, I I haven't fallen asleep though. I I don't think I have. But it's 
it's weird. It's it's like I'm suddenly in some daydream. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm awake or not. And I'm, not, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of seeing things on the periphery of my my vision. It's like smoke or something. If uh, if you're not sure if you're awake or not, you try to fly. And if you're flying, then you're asleep and uh, and you lose. I, I think not sleeping can literally drive you insane. Something about your serotonin inhibitors or something. I, I don't know. It doesn't make much sense. Nothing makes much sense right now uh, except the $500. That, that makes sense. Sort of. And then there are the sounds. I mean, first there was the smoke. And now, uh, noises. Paranoia! Just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean they're not out to get me. Or, or something like that. Oh, 
hold on. Are you kidding me? Did we freaking epic freeze already? Like halfway. <laughs> Uh, hold on, no, I don't think we did Epic Freeze, because you can see me and I'm still talking. I'm still standing, do it, I'm still here. Uh, oh, you know what? You know what? I think I was, uh, here, let's try this one right here. Oh, and now I'm hearing feedback from, uh, from Mr. Murphy over here. In the closet, under my car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, here we go. Back to the movie. I don't know if I can do this anymore. Everything is so loud. The traffic, the dripping faucet, and the train by my house. It seems like it's shaking the world apart. This is over. I'm out. I, uh, I can't. I can't. Uh, the money, I don't care. I, uh, I'm going to take some melatonin, or some valerian, or, or something, uh, uh, some of Walter's sleeping pills. I, there's something. I, uh, I, I'm not crazy, okay? I, there's something in here with me, and I, I haven't told the guys about it yet, but there, there are those things. The tall man. The shadow man. Black, uh, pale face, uh, like, like ghosts or or something. They're really starting to freak me out. They are everywhere, in the closet, under my car, in the drain. I'm not crazy. If I'm not insane, I must be sleeping. Now you're kidding me. Now we really genuinely do have a freaking freeze. Oh, physically painful. Uh, hang on. And now apparently my, my voice is a killing phrase because it makes things go nuts. Are you there, Jason? Jason's putting down. I'm here. Can you hear me? Oh, crap. That's all messed up. Here, say something again. Here, say something again. Okay. Oh, uh, how about now? Can you hear yeah, me now? Yeah, you got to turn down your speakers, though, too. Oh, uh, man. They're really low. Um. Oh, well, turn down okay, your, how about that? <laughs> your recording power, I don't know. Apparently, uh, apparently... <laughs>
apparently it says by the chat the chat room they say man you're wearing headphones what's the <laughs> how could your speakers be any worse uh okay so um right about okay let me switch this over and we'll uh Hold on. Wait. Oh, wait. Oh, go. And it's almost finished loading. Which, by the way, um, <laughs> it's very interesting to watch the chat room. And I'll fill you guys in. Uh, those of you guys watching full screen, please don't. On some of their better gems. But more importantly, uh, we will. Uh, y- you will continue to get uh, the story. Such as it is. And, uh, and I'm realizing... Mm, there's this right here, and let me actually open the thing right here, see if we can get it to play again, see what happens. What's go- what am I missing? You, you're chuckling over there. Oh, I was just leading, I was reading the uh, the chat room. All right, there, here we uh, go. It's uh, like a, it's like 4chan just vomited onto uh, <laughs> on, uh, onto, <laughs> onto something <TV> awful. <laughs> here we go. Yeah. All right. Closer they get. What? They can't reach us yet, but they will. The longer we're awake, the closer they get. What? Are you okay? You've seen them, dude. I know you have. Walter's seen them. I've seen them. You have to have seen them. Yeah. You know when you catch something out of the corner of your eye, but you never quite fast enough to see what it is? Well, we turned around fast enough. We saw it, and you're not supposed to see it. We're not supposed to see them, Joe. We stood up so long that we... We open our minds up to them. We see them now and we're not supposed to. Sleep is our biological defense mechanism against them. We have to sleep, but we can't. We've gone too far. Garter? Garter. Order? The longer we're awake, the closer they get. They get closer. They can't reach us yet, but they will. The longer we're awake, the closer they get. You've seen them. You have to have seen them. We see them now, and we're not supposed to. Sleep is is our biological defense mechanism against them. We have to sleep. But we can't. We've gone too far. They're coming, Joe. They're here.
I can't sleep. I, uh, I tried. I, 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 I can't sleep. It's, it's like I broke myself. I have to sleep. I, I have to. I, I've started taking sleeping pills and, and they're not doing anything. I felt one of them last night when when I was laying there. I saw my foot. It was, it was so cold. Something, something's wrong. I, it, not sleeping it shouldn't be like. It should be like holding your breath. I mean, you don't. You don't you don't hold your breath until you die. You 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 hold your breath and then you, and then you pass out and, and you start breathing again and you wake up and uh, and you're okay. Why haven't I passed out yet? Pick up the phone, Walter. I know you're not asleep. Phone. Hey, this is Walter. I'm sorry I can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave your name, phone number, and a brief message, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I won. I feel like the last man on earth, but I won. And they're coming. I don't know what they want, but every day they get a little bit closer. Without sleep, I opened my mind to them, and I found them. But worst of all, they found me. Wait a minute. There we go. We got it back. 
That's not actually the music that plays at the end of that. I should point that out. I was about to say, I don't remember that at all. No, that the idea was it would end and I would do a transfer and then we'd be here. But for some reason, when like something spikes really hard on this mixer, it has a brain hemorrhage. So, uh, so I don't know about you. You know what I learned from that movie? Uh, never to I need ever to jog. <laughs> What I what I learned is apparently I've gotten fat. That's what I learned watching that movie. <laughs> I look and I'm just like my head has swollen to like God. three times its normal size. I, I used to be an elf. I was elven in my face. <laughs> what happened? Apparently to I used me? to look like Jeff Kanata. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, you do. Or you uh, you used to? I think I think. Mm, <clears throat> sorry, nothing. Uh, you pointed that guy out to me at And you didn't see it. Everyone by. else sees it. How many of you guys in the chat room, especially watching him in, 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 in uh, Lucidity, not not current modern day let his body go to pot Jason, but like back in the day, Svelte trying to fly, laying there thinking about visions of the future. Hold on. We already got our first caller. This is going to be brutal. Hold on. Oh, jeez. I know. That's right. You didn't. I didn't mention this would be a crucifixion. Hey, what's up? It's Brian. What's going on, man? Hey, man. What's going on? Hey, who's this? This is Nick from Orlando. Hey, what's going on, Nick? What's up? Yeah, that was freaking awesome. I loved it. What? It was so cool, dude. Was that a student film? I saw. I came in right when you guys were like getting ready to start playing it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the backstory. Well, and complete, right. complete with the, uh, complete with the absolute freaking epic fail disaster of, of like midway. We took an intermission in the middle of our twenty-minute movie because apparently twenty minutes was too long for it to, go, for it to go. Dude, uh, tw- showing something for twenty minutes on the internet is epic. I know it's, it's like an epic science I was fiction. I from the piece. beginning. I watched every minute of it. I would love to see that. Like you said, it was going to come out on a. You're again talked about features. That should be on the DVD extras, not the epic fail, but. <laughs> well, not the, but but that little twenty minute feature. Uh, let me tell you, I think it's Jason. I don't know if I told you. I think it's a really great idea, and it's it's well executed. The idea that there's a biological reason that we go to sleep every night because we all know you die if you don't get enough sleep. But but I don't, but but the idea of there being a sensible biological reason. I don't know about sensible, but a biological reason why you would need to sleep to escape these things. I think is a cool idea. And for eighty bucks and three jackasses who have no idea what they're doing. I mean, you could do a lot worse than that. I think. Well, it ended up taking a lot of different turns in the feature length. Uh, it, uh, I mean, we, I got rid of the Phantoms, uh, the Toll Men, and all that, and uh, it turns into something, uh, uh, I don't know, more subtle, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it, it, it's it's pretty different. But and that was based on feedback from uh, a guy from Paramount. Just tell who, me this: uh, Is Walter still in it? Walter, Walter is still in it, and he's the the hero, and he saves the day with his pill popping ability. Go on, tell him. And he has a (laughs) he has a cyborg arm. He has a cybernetic arm. That is awesome. I'm so down with that. Yeah. Uh, Well, look, he actually becomes the left ass cheek of Voltron. All right, hold on. Uh, uh, Nick, I got to tell you, you just made my day by saying you actually liked it because it was it was this was about the worst possible scenario to show it. First of all, it's old, it's dated, and uh, you know everything's changed. It was cheap. It was done on nothing. What's that? I think that's for the awesomeness. That's awesomeness. Sorry. Is is that it's old? I saw. No, you go ahead. I saw, like, you know, references to The Exorcist, which I thought was really cool. You know, like, you see the demon face, um, yep. the static. Yeah, and, we, we stole liberally. Um, like, wait, what, did I just see that? You know what I mean? Like, uh, in I fact, actually, felt, my favorite like, moment, and nobody in the chat room noticed it, and I was really disappointed uh, about that, but let me see if I can actually find it. Um, it was right. Much. To me, the whole thing gets, gets good once you hit the uh, the... This phase with the with the tennis ball, nobody noticed this hand. Watch this. Watch this part right here. Oh no no wait hold on I, oh, I'm sorry this is right before it hold on Somebody. here you go let me back up here here we go right here check this out nobody notices. Oh, hold on yes, Tijuana totally Taxi no no, no. Shining on this. yeah you guys uh, yeah this is this is an homage to the Shining but but you didn't notice the hand you noticed the hand when it was obvious watch this watch this right here. I thought that was the best moment. 
I saw something move. I didn't know what I saw. I, I, I thought, see. You know, I thought that was the best part. That was <clears throat> that was really uh, uh, subtle. I thought that was good. It was and, already uh, there, right? And then it pulled in. Yeah, it's yeah, it's magic. there the whole time. You just don't you just don't see it. Uh, and unfortunately, there's a few moments when there's no choice. You know, reverse fog and all that stuff. There's no way to be subtle on fog. But uh, I love. Yeah, it reminded me of the Lost Monster. <laughs> yeah, well, especially. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, you know, sometimes you just run out of. Uh, you just run out yeah, of. Dude, like, I think that's pretty badass. I was judged yeah. by there, the fog. There was a. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely some cheese in there, but you know, it's good cheese. Well, and then uh, here's the other moment that I thought was really good and subtle, right here. Most most people do not see the phantom in this, and you got to watch really closely because it's very, very subtle. Not this part. Uh, I was about to say I don't think there's a phantom there, dude. No, no, no. Well, the phantom is Gidget when she shows up. There you go. <laughs> no, the watch this. Gun. See if you can spot this, the phantom. Most people miss it even looking for it. Ah! <laughs> Did you guys see it? Did you guys see it? Dude, I didn't no. even see it. You didn't even see it. Yeah, now it's it's tough on a on a on a stream. Here we go. Watch this. Here it comes. Oh, in the, in oh, the mirror. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Saw, yeah. We uh, we buried a bunch of that stuff, and unfortunately, it's uh, a lot of people miss it. By the way, I got to tell you, um, the fact that you lived. In the rundown other side of my duplex, at that time, really <laughs> makes for some good shots because like that ratted out out ceiling with water damage and everything, it really. Oh man! It, no, the best part was the back door. Yeah. That dilapidated back door. Uh, yeah, dude. I gotta tell you, like this shot right here, where you guys, you guys had oh. sanded everything off of it. Yeah. Oh, and, cool, and yeah. someone, uh, user93961 in the uh, chat rooms is uh, talking about Lovecraft. And this is definitely inspired by Lovecraft because I'm a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan. In fact, the original title for Lucidity was uh, In the Shadow of Sleep, um, which is a very Lovecraftian title. You know, and it's about things that exist just beyond our perception. And they're talking about uh, From Beyond, uh, the uh, the chat room guy is. And it was, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, it was very much inspired by uh, by Lovecraft. I just I love that whole idea of things existing just outside of our perception. Yeah. Uh, well, Nick, that's uh, that's a real treat that you actually liked it. Uh, thank you very much for, uh, for for calling in and rooting for us because it was very. First of all, we had two technological breakdowns halfway through. That was very difficult. And then on top yeah. of that, me and Jason are watching the chat room, which is not kind. And and first of all, that's that's how we roll on the BB Live show. You, you, you got to take as good as you get. And so, uh, you know, it was, it was good to have a vote of confidence come in. Yeah, dude, I love that. I can't wait for the sequel. All right, dude. Take care, man. See you, man. All right, so if you want to crucify us, give us a call at uh, BB Live Show. You can call us 866-462-4424. Twitter.com slash Schwood is the only way to know when this stuff is coming up. Uh, by the way, Mega Man is already on the line. What's up, Mega Man? What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, man? What did you think? It, it was so epic. <laughs> it was so epic. Are you, I <laughs> feel like you're just doing me a favor here, man. I feel it was like, like Clash of the Titans, like, was it? No, not? dude, it was bigger dude, than the Iliad I, and the Odyssey put together combined with Lethal Weapon 4. It was great. <laughs> and then it shot out the Death Star. Dude, I crapped my pants so many times, you have no idea. <laughs> well, that's very kind of you to uh, to pretend as though that's the case, whether it's true or not. That's, I'll, that's, that's I'll, I will take I your compliment, sir. In any, in any and the chat room we're making is people are like, no, don't get, get someone to shit their pants. Like that. All right, hold on just a second, Mega Man. We got a caller on the line. Hey, it's Brian. What's going on, buddy? What's up? Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, yeah, uh, about your movie. It really fucking sucked. Right. Yes. Thank you. That's good. And it sucked because it had no budget and the acting was bad. And <laughs> did he hang up? The ex. Oh, chicken shit bastard. Listen, you cocksuckers, <laughs> you do not cut and run, you douchebag motherfuckers. By the way, if anyone's wondering who just called me, that was 717-324-9473. If you're going to call in and give it, you're going to get it back, my friends. Chat room topic. That's right. <clears throat> hey, uh, you, you, you suck and you, you smell like farts. <laughs> and um, uh, I, I don't like you. And, and you're gay. 
<laughs> and and you're lame. Look, dude, it's like I'll take it. It's like uh, I I think we prefaced everything with how crappy it was, but uh, but what we were trying to do and where we were at the time, I got to tell you, it was a lot of fun. And I'm glad you dug it, Meg, Mega Man. Appreciate it. Thank you very For $85, much. Eighty five dollars. It was the best shit ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? On a <laughs> minute per dollar basis, I don't know that you could have done better with. As, oh wait, especially with zero well, skill. Maybe, you got maybe it. buying a bunch of beer or yeah. scotch with eighty five bucks. Yeah. But other than that. When when the fan like first slides by, like my pants were sold at that point. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst looking effect. God, I wait. Which wait? Wait. What was the worst looking effect? Where the thing slides by, you know, where uh, where I'm peeking into the bedroom. Oh, and, and you all know what's sudden, too Bang! bad is we slide by on that usually because because the thing is is the whole atmosphere is charged. This is actually when the whole thing takes a turn, and it's unfortunate that it takes nine minutes before the thing takes a turn. <laughs> But it's like the you have all this build up here, and by the way, even though it was done for exactly thirty five cents, that's a creepy sound effect. Yeah. It- Rabbit Badger wait, wait. said it was a little long for a simple concept. He's absolutely right. Uh, but it's all charged, and you have you have the relaxation. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad effect. Actually. <laughs> now yeah, I'm looking at it. Epically bad. <laughs> but but you did a good job of making it so unbelievably loud, and then uh, and then they see <laughs> right. your red door. You had a weird. You guys decorated that place loud. weird at the time. That really helped. And the red there, door. there were a few shots where it was major borderline screamer video. Oh yeah, you could tell like any minute it was coming, and you're and yeah. it was supercharged. Yeah. All right, man. I won't yeah, have your phone line anymore. Uh, All right, dude. Take care, man. Actually, All right, bye. The backwards dialogue bye, was actually me uh, reciting a hidden track on Tool's Undertow album. What were you just... What were you saying forward? That's what I want to know. Um, oh, what was it? And the angel of the Lord came unto thee, snatching me up from my place of slumber, and took me on high, and higher still as we rose through the spaces betwixt the air itself. And he brought me unto the vast farmland of the, of the great Midwest, and as we descended, cries of impending doom rose from the soil. One thousand, <laughs> nay, a million voices full of panic and terror possessed me then. You, you know what's you know what's funny is Lord, during uh, because what are these tortured screen I'm done. All right, all right, but 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 what's funny is is you know the backwards talk the or, or, or oh, no 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 the part where <coughs> the part where um uh, Garter uh, disappears uh, that's actually me reciting the fear litany from Dune where I say uh, oh that's right I yeah, yeah. fear fear is the mind killer fear is the little death that brings total obliteration you can actually clearly hear me saying it at one point hold on let me get up there. Like at this part, <coughs> excuse me. To sleep is supposed to. Sleep is is our biological defense mechanism against the. We have to. Sleep. Did you hear it say "fear is the little death that brings total obliteration"? Here, listen. Supposed to. Sleep is is our biological defense mechanism against the. We have to sleep. But we can't. We've gone too far. And that's from Doom, right? Yeah. They're coming, Jim. And I was proud of this little mashup here, here, here that we did. That was not bad. But, uh, oh, by the way, uh, I, I do need to take just a moment to to thank our sponsors. Um, we picked up our first sponsor here at the BB Live show. Uh, I thought it was going to be either Cock Big Blaster Smasher. or, or – um, uh, yeah, actually, this episode brought to you by Cockshot, the official sponsor of the BB Live show. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Well, last chance for you guys to uh, to pipe on in. Uh, you can give me a call at, at 866-462-4424 or toll-free 866-EAT-FIRE if you hate numbers for some reason. But uh, <laughs> Lonely Dog Geek is sending it to everybody. This is good. <laughs> hey, dude, it's Brian. What's going on, dude? What's happening, Brian? I called for a couple of reasons, man. I um, love the film. and Actually, I was just curious if we are going to get uh, right hand of Kali on here. Oh, man, is this crazy? Huh? 
No, this is not Craig, but I also wanted to say, while um, I uh, have you guys in the line, that um, I, I get a little tea bag in my snack yesterday in Louisiana. Holy shit, is this Judd? Bingo, what's happening, fellas? Get out of freaking town! You gotta be kidding me, dude! This is epic <laughs> huge! How have you been, man? How the hell did you find out about this retarded <laughs> idiocy that's this this stupid show? Who told you? Your boy Murph, man. Your boy Murph's got a... Uh, Got, had the the wits about him to put uh, a status update uh, and gave me the link and uh, I just stumbled on it, man. Awesome, great to see you guys. What are you guys up to, dude? Uh, dude, we're just kicking ass and taking names. I mean, this is I mean, outside of this is my hobby. This little tragedy of a live show. I mean, we only got what, what do we got like 200, 200, 300 people watching right now. Um, but the uh, yeah. yeah, what's what's the number right now? What's it? Nobody. Zero zero one, is what they say. One thirteen, but to me that's like three hundred and fifty. No, it's one ninety eight uh, because there's one thirteen in the chat room, but one ninety eight actually gotcha. watching. So that's that's good. Uh, oh, but, nice. But at any rate, you know, I'm doing scam school. I don't know if you've seen scam school yet, but uh, you know, and, and Jason's still writing and shooting stuff. What are you doing, Jason? Tell Judd. Uh, yeah, I'll let you I have been working on a, a feature length script for a while now. We did some test shots recently and realized that. Wow, the third act has to go. <laughs> wow. So, Ouch. Yeah, so it's uh it's uh yeah, it's been uh, difficult to say the least. But of course, uh well, we should yeah, the, the chat room is asking who is Judd. Uh Brian and I did another uh short film uh a couple of years after this one and it was I guess it was about 3 years ago and uh Judd was the main guy in it. And uh yeah, he is a, a fantastic actor, uh Judd Lorman. Uh, Judd, what what's your website again? Oh gosh, that would be com. What's that? Say it again. I just go to Judd Lorman.com. Oh, I can't hear it. One more time. Say it slowly. Judd How do you spell it? J U D D L O R M A N D dot com. Yeah, it's just a simple. Like that? There you go. There's a link. Yeah. Does that work? Let me put it in the chat. I'm cool. thinking, man. I'm walking around talking to you guys. I, I left the computer. Uh, I am trying to. Hey, by the way, can I get you to turn down your your volume, Jason, or something? Or I guess oh, I, I I could yeah, turn yeah, down yeah. your volume. I guess. Stitches and a movie. I'm trying to find the uh, clip of. Uh, that's when I got stabbed by Jason Murphy. That's. Oh. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> that's when I earned uh, this scar. Right. Right. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, trip to the hospital and everything, man. That was awesome. You know what's funny, Judd, is we went camping at Pedernales Falls State Park three days ago, and I thought about that. I went down to the water, I looked, I was like, hey, this is where I got stabbed by, uh, by Jason Murphy. <laughs> oh, that was an epic two days right there. Yeah, we'll uh, uh, we'll we'll get all the details on that. Maybe we'll show right hand of Kali. That one had uh, uh, difficulty with the shoot that uh, that Lucidity did not quite have, but uh, but I thought it yeah. was it was and another there was interesting. There's no in Lucidity. Yeah, let me let me see if I can see. Uh, mm, yeah, I thought it was awesome. Let me see if I can do. Um, I'm looking to see. Is it emails? I've got pictures of the of the shoot. From right hand of Kali. That's the only. Um, that's like the only thing I don't have on my YouTube. Uh, YouTube page is up there. Is what? Is what? Kali is like the only one I don't have on my YouTube page. I need to get that on there. Oh yeah. Oh hey, here we go. This is us shooting the right hand of Kali. That's a. That's. I believe that's you, Judd. Uh, threatening me. Shouting at me. Yeah, I'm yelling at you. Look at that. And I'm bleeding yeah. because I've been stabbed, uh, and and is only. This, uh, is this the real stab or? or no, the, no, no, no. Uh, that, that's the fake stab. That's that's when we dressed everything up with uh with the. In fact, actually, I thought of right hand of Kali when I did the uh, Tonight Show. I started making what I thought looked like real fake blood, and I was like, wait a minute. If there's one thing getting stabbed on camera did for me, it showed me that real blood does not show up looking like real blood. On the uh, on 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 camera, so I intentionally made my mix more red so that I could get uh, so that I could actually make it look like real blood, and that was because of the right hand of Kali. Yeah, yeah fake blood uh, on on H on digital often tends to look kind of pinkish. Uh, 
So, yeah, you really got to darken it and kind of take that into consideration. That's There it is. That's the stab Ooh. wound that this guy That's the real did thing. to me. <laughs> that right there. By the way, what's funny is if you rotate this. I'll never forget that day for the rest of my life. That was unbelievable, man. I thought, like, somebody was going to die. I thought this was, I'm like, this is what the movie's about. A bunch of... <laughs> Out in the in the middle of nowhere, making the movie, uh, and stabbed and I was just flying. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna tell that this story later, but I guess we might as well do it now. Yeah, it's yeah. like I got Here, stabbed. I'm, you tell it. I'm gonna step away for a second. Oh, screw you. Uh, I got I got stabbed by Jason uh, and and had to walk across the river. Like we hopped on rocks to get to the other side of the river. But once we were on the other side, we're like, well, now I'm stabbed and I have to get back. And I waited, and first thing I did was splash my hand in the water, and I'm all stabbed. And, and by the way, <laughs> Jason's not here. Judd, I don't know if you know this, but to this very day, I have uh, reduced feeling in my thumb as a result of being stabbed by Jason Murphy. Can you believe that? We'll we'll tell we'll tell the full story some other time. I don't wanna I don't wanna get. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get uh, people upset. Man, man, John, I'm so happy to hear from you. What What are you up to these days? You got any projects, big projects you're working on? Oh, I just actually just did a reading for an HBO series. About to start a uh, a new HBO plan for... Uh, it's a drama on a bunch of people living in the French Quarter after Katrina. Yeah, I don't know how original that's going to come off. but uh, Oh, no, no, I think that sounds great. Uh, that's something that Jason and I talked about for a long time was was how mysterious the landscape of, of New Orleans after Katrina might have, might have looked. Oh, I, yeah. I think that's good. That, that sounds cool. Uh, dude, well, so glad to hear from you, man. Uh, uh, in fact, yeah, um, I guess I'll, I'll check out your website and I'll drop you an email, but uh, I got to tell you, this is the most amazing surprise of, yeah. of of anything awesome. in the world. I'm so stoked that you called, man. That's really badass. Well, tell, uh, tell Jason I say goodbye. I don't want to keep up uh, all your time, but I, I, I have to say hello to both of you guys, and, uh, I, and I'll keep you the show, Brian, and uh, stay in touch, bro. I'm on Facebook, my face, all that good stuff. All right, you got it, man. Take care. It's good to hear from you, Judd. Later, folks. All right. Um, man, bummer that we kind of lost it. Judd says goodbye, All right, Jason. I'm back. Judd says, uh, Judd says he's very offended that you ran away in the middle of him talking to you and that he hopes that you experience no success in your future career. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I mean, that was implied. Okay. I don't know if he actually said those things, but that's pretty much what he meant. <laughs> that was subtextual? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> by the way, in the chat room, they're saying, he said, bye, <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, I got to tell you, I'm torn because I had a second segment lined up. I was going to talk about my experience with the teabaggers, but that one's not really uh, developed at all. I, I kind of want to wind it up here. I tell you what, we'll take a couple more okay. calls. If you want to call in at uh, BB Live Show, that's 866-462-4424. And uh, wait, is Captain MG in the room? Did I just see that? Cockshots asking What's Captain that? MG. Oh, what's up with Captain MG? That's what they're asking. Uh, Captain MG uh, is doing great, man. He's kicking ass and taking names, but he has his own place, and it's 25 minutes away. So it's it used to be like in the early days of the BB Live show, he was just staying in my spare bedroom. So I was like, hey, you want to be on the show? He's Brian like, sure, no problem. Box. But then, uh, but now it's like it's quite a drive to uh, to come on out. Hey, it's Brian. You're on the air. What's up? Hey, man, it's uh, Hayes from the forums. Oh, Hayes, what's going on? You are a little bit uh, brutal to the to, to the show. What's going on, dude? <laughs> uh, not much, man. Just uh, caught the, uh, the second half of your video. I have to say it was, it was pretty good. Something I hadn't seen before. Well, I think that's the big that's the biggest thing that Lucidity had going for it is it was something that nobody had seen before. That's um, uh, in, in you know in spite of and again that's not I have nothing to do that's this guy right here, but it's in spite of in spite of the low budget and the poor execution and the bad acting you know so we can see. Dude, uh, again, you did a freaking fantastic job in the acting. That no. was it was a, such an asset. It's it's hard it's hard for me to watch that to be honest, but that's very nice of you to say. Appreciate it, Hayes. It's hard for me I'm to glad. watch it and realize, wow, 
Hey, man, I, I, I got to add. I have swollen up like the dude in Big Trouble from Little China. Or Big <laughs> yeah, Trouble you Little and China. me both, dude. I'm watching that, and I'm like, I was elfish once upon a time. What's up? Hayes, you had one more question? Uh, yeah, you got, are you going to put up a link where we can go watch this or download it? Uh, that's Unfortunately good... not. Uh, due to some uh, rights issues, uh, yeah, we've been down that road, and uh, it didn't go well, unfortunately. Yeah. We won't get into it. it. It's something that we'd like to see, uh, but, uh, yeah, it's not going to happen anytime soon anyway. Right. We'll see. We'll see what we can work out. You never know. But, uh, but anyway, but, but I'm glad you dug it, dude. Uh, yep. All right, take care, Hayes. Uh, okay, last last me- minute, uh, last chance to join us. Eight six six four six. Oh, you know what? I could do this actually. Watch this. I can. Uh, I actually made a thing just to put the phone number. Phone number is probably the best way to get a hold of us. Eight six six four six two four four two four. I'm watching the uh, chat room's response here. Chat room. Uh, uh, now here's the thing. Chat room was pretty brutal during during the execution. You guys were okay. There we go. There's some honesty right there. Stupid story, really. Um, Brian the pirate. I don't even know what that means. Chat room for the win. Uh, <laughs> it was epic. Uh, oh, is Trey? Is, is somebody in? Is somebody trying to? Is somebody actually online with us on Skype? I don't see them. Is is uh, the, I, you know? I, I think we're gonna go back and do a special edition of Lucidity. Yeah. And. Uh, when we're introducing the bet and we're first getting started and we're about to do it, we start off with, and if all goes well. <laughs> you know what? For anybody who's going to end up doing a feature-length movie, if you want to sneak in a little homage to to little old Brian Brushwood, like if, if there's somebody who's maybe a teenager who doesn't think they could be a writer, but eventually they will be and they'll have a feature-length script, it would mean the world to me if you'd have a character say and if all goes well and then have an epic fail that would be awesome hey dude it's brian you're on the air what's going on hey brian this is callen from nebraska hey callen how you doing buddy pretty good i'm having trouble hearing you but uh i just started watching the show like the last 30 seconds of the video and i had my headphones really loud and i literally cracked a brick oh when that when like the ghost the ghost was there at the end yeah, I had no idea what was going on. That yeah. could be like a teaser, seriously. Well, and oh, and oh, there there was one other moment that I thought was pretty pretty well executed. Um, and and again, for one thing that 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 you guys did that I thought was really clever was you uh, you made the ghost blurry all the time. And again, remember that we're working on no budget here. Yeah, but, yeah. But watch with me th- dropping dropping my my bottle of. Uh, Pez. Pe- oh, is that Pez in there? Here, watch this. So, yeah. so he comes in and he's blurry, but then he leans in and stays blurry. And I, unfortunately, you can't really. And then we got that scare right there. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really uh, you can't really tell that he's leaning in. I wish there was. Uh, I wish there was. Uh, you know, I don't know. I wish I wish maybe if there's a wide angle lens you could have told that it, like like for example look at yeah. this like like right here we got a straight lens and here's my hand and here's my hand closer that's not a very big difference but it, but here we have a wide angle lens and here here's my hand and here's my hand bigger right so because if you did something like like and it was still blurry that yeah, would have been we, cool we've got all those toys now but back then it was pretty much the XL1 and uh, a couple of clamp lights it was from just, uh, Home Depot just some kids in a dream that's all it was that's all you had yeah. alright we got a we got another call coming in um oh let me see hey it's Brian you're on the air hey this is Clifford from what? my uh, chat room oh hey what's going on dude uh not much uh it was it was Okay. No. You know what? For what we spent and what we invested and the skills we had, I will take that assessment. It was okay, not great. Bingo. We have a winner. I'm good with that. How uh, you can make it into a feature like nine minutes. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, you were talking about making it into a feature length. You were talking about developing a lot more who the phantoms were or what the source of the uh, bizarreness was, right? 
Yeah, yeah, there were a couple of different versions. The initial version of the script had uh, had the Phantoms in it. And uh, in talking to some guys from uh, from both New Line and Paramount, they didn't like that. Uh, they wanted to root it a little bit closer to reality and not Good. just quite so fantastic. Uh, so the, the other version that is still being shopped around and uh, uh, is under consideration from a couple of uh, minor studios, um, which have more money than we did, uh, they, uh, yeah, that's, it's, that version is, uh, is still fantastic and, uh, a little out there and weird, but, but there are no phantoms in it, which were still really fantastic one of my parts, but and amazing and incredible and stupendous and, and staggering. Hey, uh, oh, you know what? Hey, uh, let me drop you off here, Stephen, because I just, re- you, you tied something in here that, um, uh, there was, and I'm bummed that we never, figured out the right way to make this work but tell me how epic this would have been and I think you guys would actually like this around the time that the Lonely Girl 15 story broke that Lonely Girl was uh, was fictitious we we had the idea of releasing Lucidity oh hang on Chris Cox is on the line and I'm going to bring Chris in for this hey what's going on Chris how you doing bud Chris Chris oh, oh well. Jason I found out you were doing this tonight Oh yeah. Uh, so so Chris, you came in at just the right moment. Uh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, Chris and Jason host a podcast called the uh, Extreme, the League of Extremely Ordinary Gentlemen, uh, which you can find at uh, just search Leog. Is that what it is? Um, yeah, but it's uh, the, the League Lounge at Spill dot com. The League Lounge. Well, I tell you what. I tell you, just go to Spill dot com and check out uh, and check out the League of Extremely Ordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> but it's uh it's even nerdier than anything with Brian. Oh no, d- dude, yeah, that's I'd hate to say it but like on the I have very little nerd geek cred. It's like they, you guys you guys leave me in the dust and I'm just a I'm I'm like, you know, what why does a Superman sling more webs? That's who I am to you guys. <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, we uh, we bring out the weapons grade nerdiness. Yeah. Okay, but tell me how great this would have been. The idea was to release a series of YouTube's vids, like put the word out saying, "Hey, uh, me and my buddies, we're gonna try to stay up as long as we possibly can, and we're going to put out every hour updates on how we're doing." And the idea was, over like a a five day period, we would continue to release five to ten minute vignettes telling the story of how things were coming. And then stuff would have gotten, you know, at first, you know, you'd think that we were just loopy. Like, the early episodes would all be us just goofing off. They'd be hilarious and funny. And then at some point, the diary segments would start to reflect that people are having weird experiences and nobody wants to tell the other ones. Uh, Like, act it out over a week-long period as some kind of real-time actually happening thing. And then at the end, shit, we should still do that. I don't know. It's probably probably too late. I actually did that, though. So, like... I used to be a doctor in Germany, and I after this, I'm now I'm on still. <laughs> you used to be a doctor on search. <laughs> what? What the hell are you no, talking I did, about? I did that. I stayed up for a week, and I used to be a doctor in Germany, and now I live in Austin. I have some crappy podcast. So. Oh, th- that's what <laughs> happened to you. So th- you strongly advise that we don't uh, that we don't actually do it. Is that what's going on? <laughs> no, there's actually a BBC series that's kind of like Big Brother. Yet yeah, it's called Shattered. Uh, and uh, it's, but it's like Big Brother, but no one can sleep, and apparently everybody really starts cracking up. No phantoms or tennis balls or oh, anything. Oh, that's but, great uh, though. But, but it's, it's the real deal. But that would be that would be a good setup. Like, hey, we saw the show Phantoms. We're gonna do the same thing, only it goes bizarre and right. supernatural. And you watch it as a series of vignettes, and every time an episode ends, you click on the next one. You're like, what the hell do they do next? That's unreal. You guys approached me about this years ago. Oh shit! And, that's right. We, and I'm we, still here. Yeah, we talked about we talked about rewriting some stuff. Yeah. Let, let's do it. Let's make the magic happen. I don't know if we'll fool anyone, <laughs> but maybe we could get everybody to stay quiet. We we could just start really. I don't know. That'd be that'd be pretty fun. I don't know. Hey, yeah, yeah, all for it. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've uh, now that we've 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 got the the adoring love. Of the chat room behind us. Well, so, I, I tell you what, though. There. Actually, reading the comments now, the chat room really seems excited and coming around to the idea of it. Hey, uh, uh, Chris, I'm going to put you on, on pause here for a second. I'm going to take this call real quick. Oh. Hey, this is Brian. You're on the air. What's going on? 
Yeah, uh, I would love to help out with you guys. This is Nick again. Oh, shit. So, so you think that would be a good idea to actually release it as a series of YouTube videos? Yeah, man. All right. Well, awesome. well, good. Well, I tell you what. Drop me an email if you're interested in making this happen. That sounds good. I'm going to I'm gonna jump back over to the Chris. There we go. Chris, you're back. Hey. Uh, <laughs> what I love, you got to love the chat room. It's like, you know, hey, dude, I can help you out. This would be great. I'm down for that. That would be cool. I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> did someone actually write I like turtles <laughs> yes of course they did come on dude which I would expect nothing less from <clears throat> from the crew which by the way I gotta tell you I expected <clears throat> watching the chat room everybody doing their mystery science theater 3000 impression the entire time I was just like oh man we're gonna finish and they're gonna let us freaking have it and uh, I was and ready I, man and I gotta tell you I gotta tell you it's, it's funny to see people find the the things they liked out of it um you know because you know i think i think the key is you got to freely admit from the beginning that ladies and gentlemen this is terrible see what you can find in it so i think that seems to be what uh, the the key is yeah yeah well that reminds me we are on the head of setting doing the expectations a side project through uh through the league here shortly where we're going to do commentary for the dvds uh maybe you could come in when we do the prestige <laughs> oh shoot, dude! I'd love to talk about the prestige, dude. So it's kind of like the it's kind of like the riff tracks thing. Is that what's going on? Except we're gonna do it uh, like yeah, not yeah. where we're trying to set it up to so just the jokes. You right, know? it's not the jokes, but it's it's like guys you dig hanging out with them watching it. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go for. All right, or anything, just hold, us hold, hold, hold on talking. one second, uh, uh, Chris. I'm gonna jump over. We got another call. Hey, dude, this is Brian. You're on the air. Hey, Brian. Hey, who do we got here? For me, was it's late in New York. I was falling asleep as I was watching it. You were what? Now, wait, wait, wait. Now, is, is that a blah blah blah? Was a boring joke, or it's saying like you were falling asleep no, and now it messed with your mind? And I was actually tired, and it just added a whole new level of spooky. It's kind of funny because I don't know if I I don't know if I've shared this with you guys, but it's like I have a weird anxiety about laying there going to sleep because for some reason all I think about when I'm going to sleep is dying. And I I don't know is that just me or do you guys have that as well? All I think about no is, when I'm sleep when I'm about to go to sleep I think of you dying too. Oh that's good. Which is why you stabbed me. Allow me to here. <laughs> which is why you Fail. stabbed me and my thumb still has no feeling. Thank you. Satan. I was just like, last time Jason tapped out on my couch, I spent three hours standing over him with a knife, hoping he'd wake up, and he never did. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you mean last Friday? <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think so. All right, look, I think I'm about to wrap this up, but uh, this ended up being a much better experience than I thought it would be. I was a little bit... It's it's always difficult when you take your home movies and you show them to people and they can turn around and punch you in the nuts. But uh, but I think I I don't know I think uh, watching it there was parts of it that <coughs> that were still pretty cool. Uh, <coughs> any last words, Jason? Anything you want to promote? Uh, no, just uh, yeah, check out uh, spill.com. Go to the League Lounge if you're a comic book nerd, and we've got the video game episode uh, posted. Uh, or wait. No, it's about to be posted. It comes up tomorrow, actually. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, check us out there. and yeah. Real real quick from Gatorwag in the chat room. Brian, I'm going to be real with you, man. The movie was real good. Could have used more accordion, but good nonetheless. <laughs> oh, of course. Well, more accordion. I mean, that goes without saying. Uh, and everybody, everybody is asking for a copy of the movie. I don't know if you could talk to any powers that be that might want to relinquish or, or acknowledge the possibility of... You know, stuff getting out there, and uh, yeah, I'd like well, it that's, to be that's out there. Something we really need to uh, at least uh, g at least get it up online, if not have copies available for you know the cost of manufacturing, like three bucks or something like that, to send out to people. So, yeah, well, it's really I mean, something we from, need to look from at. the beginning, I never thought there would be a money, you know, money, money in it. I thought it would be great to right. have a lot of people see it. You know, right, right, yeah, we definitely need to get it out there because it's just sitting on a shelf otherwise. Yeah. Well, speaking of sitting on a shelf, one thing that's sitting on my shelf is our favorite sponsor here of the BB Live Show, the Cock Shot, which <laughs> it's so it's so useful. I mean, I think about all the uh, all the things I get done with this thing. It's 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 really amazing. Um, <laughs> look at that. That's that's some good photoshopping. I gotta tell you, that's pretty good. All right, um, <clears throat> man, I'm having a cough, a coughing attack here, so I am going to, 
Uh, I don't know. You got a mashup you want you want to you want to take us out with or? I don't think you've heard this one. Have you heard this one? Look at the horror on his face. You gotta play that one. That one's for Judd. Judd is a huge. He has a huge handsome fan. Shut up. Judd's a huge handsome fan. I'm not even kidding. I say that with no irony. All right. Well, then that's gonna be the one that takes us out. You guys have been awesome as always. Don't forget. (laughs) You can see. You can see the show at any time at bblliveshow.com. Uh, get in touch with us. Brianashwood.com. By the way, if you want to uh, know when the show is, the only way to find out is twitter.com slash Schwood. This is a show done completely at my whim. I am, I am the Uber uh, teabagger. And uh, <laughs> follow me at, at twitter.com slash Schwood. You guys have been awesome. Hopefully tomorrow we'll actually have the split screen action for right now. Oh, and I can't even say that we didn't even freeze. We still froze up. What a bummer. But uh, but that's a lot of fun. Any last words, dude? Uh, You got it, boss. Take care, guys. It's good seeing you. It's a BB Live show.